get set accessors or properties are for providing access to private or protected fields. The language implementation abstracts us from writing our own get set methods and also treats the properties in code like fields. The idea behind using properties to expose data is to keep the field private and access them through a public method. Properties also can have validation code in them to check for valid data. Also, you can raise events in both the get or set accessor. To create a property, start off by declaring a field. Make the field private and take note of its type. Then create the get set accessor. The get set accessor is typically the name of the class member with an uppercase first letter and no member prefixes. Properties do not have arguments or even round brackets at the end of the signature. The accessors typically have both the get and set accessors, but some read-only properties will use just the get accessor. It is pointless to make a property with just the set accessor defined. If you do this, replace the property with a typical set method. To define the value that the property returns, type the get keyword, then an open and closed curly brace. You can put whatever you want within these braces, so long as you eventually return a value with the return keyword. For setting values, make a set block like you did with the get block, but this time you want to eventually assign the value to the appropriate instance of data. Use the value keyword to get the value being assigned. Simple if-else logic can be applied to the set accessor for data validation.